Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Picatrix. I am going to be getting a Pisces New Moon for 2023 video going for you. <clears throat> We're going to find out what you can expect for about four to five weeks, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. If you want more information on that Pisces New Moon, please click on that link to Molly McCord's video down below in the description box to get a little bit more information on what's going on with the New Moon. This Pisces new moon overall really is closing out a cycle that you've been dealing with for most likely 12 to 28 years, um, depending on your storyline. And so, <clears throat> Scorpio, we're going to use the Mermaid Tarot here today, being that it's a water sign new moon. And then I will clarify with the mystical moments. Please keep in mind that I'm not a licensed physician, Scorpio, so if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor. And welcome to the channel, whether you're new or returning. Make sure you're checking out all of your big four, Scorpio. And I do want to tell you, before I popped on, I was shuffling and I cleared uh, the energy with some white sage. Some of you could be planting trees or cutting trees, trimming back trees, trimming bushes. There's something here about um, tree cutters are outside and man, they're loud as all get out. Um, I think something unexpectedly, Scorpio, is going to pop into your life in the next four to five weeks that you may be able to say no to. Um... But be careful what you think because, yeah, something's coming into light for you, Scorpio. Here's the moon, okay? Pisces energy all day long. You don't see something coming. Music is going to heal or uh, answer some calls for you. There's a lot of communication with music. Somebody or something or the way you feel or the way somebody feels, music lyrics are um, incredibly potent for you right now, Scorpio. King of Pentacles in the reverse. changing the way you've been doing things, Scorpio, um, reevaluating, not being too comfortable, stepping out some sort, outside of some sort of comfort zone. Somebody said, is this about my divorce? It could be. Um, apply it where it, it fits for you, okay? Um, I do feel here, Scorpio, unexpectedly, you're going to want to make an offer and you may pull it back out of fear. Um, Self-worth, there's some value issues here, some self-worth, some insecurities here, Scorps. Um, I don't think you see this coming. <clears throat> the next four to five weeks, man, you're having a real hard time giving me energy. And there were fours all over the the uh, bottom of the decks when I was shuffling when before I came on the end. Ooh, okay, ooh. this could actually be to answer that person's question. Um, the lovers is in reverse. Um, this lovers card I actually love because it is not it has literally nothing to do with anybody but that mermaid. It is the true definition of the lovers. Um, do you see in the mirror? Are you reflecting out into the world what you see in the mirror? Are you the person you say you are, Scorpio? Do you bring forth the energy into the world that you claim to? And I feel like with this King of Pentacles in reverse, um, there's a massive head over heart decision that you're making in the next four to five weeks to step outside some sort of comfort zone. And I feel like you're going to do it unexpectedly. Um, like as you're watching this, you may like be like, oh, it's going to be about this. Well, it could be about that. Um, but it's actually about something entirely different that you have no idea about. It may lead to the thing that you were thinking about. It may be the step you need and the courage you need to then do the thing that scares you even more. If you're a feminine watching this and you're dating or in a relationship with a masculine earth sign of any capacity, Scorps, Uh, uh, this person's going to say something to you about the next level in your relationship and you're not going to resonate. Queen of Pentacles. I just clarified that. Yeah. Um, wow. King and a Queen of Pentacles. So there is some, and then the Ten of Swords is on the bottom of the bottom of the deck. So for the person that asked about the divorce, I do feel like that was a really great metaphor, a really great question. Um, there's a very good possibility that a separation could happen in the next four to five weeks or a separation that is cu currently going on, Scorpio, is going to be healed in the next four to five weeks. Um, so if you're in separation from somebody that you really wish would be in your life and you're desiring, um, a change, a fix, a resolution, 
um, for something to be healed, that's a possibility. If you are currently going through some turmoil in a relationship and you're deciding whether or not to um, have a separation, uh, it would be best if you took some time apart, okay? So we've been pretty loud with that. Um, Scorpio, you are going to get some advice here. Three of Swords in reverse. Man, yeah, your heart's healing in this next four to five weeks. And I feel like telling you, Scorpio, that who and what you communicate with over the next four to five weeks. Um, wow, the tower in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Who and what you um, communicate with and how you communicate over the next four to five weeks is vital. And this Queen of Pentacles, I do see you. Um, you have both Virgo and Pisces energies here. So um, you have a lot of polarities around you. There are some energies, and I feel like you need to go research law of polarity. And then after that, maybe even cause and effect. Uh, you have a lot of people around you, um, Scorpio. <clears throat> a lot of people. And there is some timing at play right here. Uh, you may go to a bonfire in the next four to five weeks or somewhere where you might get like bit by a mosquito. Who you're with at that time, that mosquito bite tells you something. And you might want to look up the spiritual meaning of mosquitoes. There's also like a million species of, of um, mosquitoes throughout the world. And we're not allergic to all of them. Only certain species of mosquitoes are attracted to, to people's blood. Like, um, so there's, ooh, I just heard blood in the water. The seven of cups and the moon. You have a massive decision. A desire, a desire here, Scorpio, that you're really trying to manifest and bring down into reality. I do want to tell you, Scorpio, it's not the manifestation that you are thinking of. It's something entirely different. I do kind of feel like, Scorpio, you're looking for a job or a resource or some sort of financial change in your life or <clears throat> receiving um, a resource, whether that is finances or like, let's say you're inventing something and there's just this one cog in the gears that you can't find that, that perfect size because it's out of stock with the way that distribution is being affected right now. <clears throat> and, um, you're going to find that one piece. Finally, you've been looking for something Scorpio for a very long time. You've been dreaming about it. You've been very distracted Scorpio. And this next four to five weeks, I do feel like you, Scorpio, if you have a sun, uh, Leo placement that's strong, it's like, go after what you want. What's the worst that can happen? That you're told no? Great. So go in a direction after you're told no, that's a yes. Somebody around you or you may feel like they're jumping through hoops to make something happen or like they have to do tricks or you have to do tricks man king of pentacles clarifying the king of pentacles <clears throat> scorpio you've put something or somebody on a pedestal this is a masculine figure this may be yourself <laughs> um may resonate as a very uh masculine energy if you're a feminine watching this and i feel like telling you that there's i said this the law of polarity is at play for your reading and you're a little bit too much in your masculine energy and you need to come down. You need to come more into your feminine space and make this decision to recognize that there is an imbalance with the lovers in reverse here. There's definitely an, um, um, uh, somebody here that is emotionally unavailable in some capacity, um, really focused on their finances, their resources, uh, not really being present. You gotta ask yourself, Scorpio, why is this energy not present with you? Or why are you not present with this energy? What are you avoiding? There's two people at odds here. Two very, very firm, structured, solid humans that have success in their life. Even a king of pentacles in reverse has success that he worked really, really freaking hard for. Um, 
One, one of these kings only has one pentacle, whereas the other one has three. I do feel like telling you, Scorpio, you are in the next four to five weeks going to be invited somewhere. You need to say yes to this. And wherever you go that you're invited, ma'am, my lip is like, that bug really got me. Um, wherever you go, <laughs> you're going to get advice. You may open up about a wish or a dream or something that you would like to do in your life and be successful at. And somebody's going to give you some unexpected advice on how to manifest that. And it's going to bring into light some energy about the polarity that you're surrounded by right now. You have your back to a wish, to a desire, to something you vastly, absolutely 100% desire. Um, I do feel like during the Pisces full moon, you were probably going through a pretty big heartbreak. And... The opposite energy of what broke your heart is going to show up in your life. And it will be beautiful. It will be everything and more that you asked for, Scorps. Ooh. A seven of Wands and the Lovers. You need to drop your defenses. You need to be more open. And... Look in the mirror and realize the thing about you that you are choosing to prescribe to that's keeping your walls up, your defenses up. <clears throat> um, the Knight of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. He's the slowest knight in the deck. He actually roams his land and paces angrily that his, uh, his uh, fields do not produce food that he can eat off of yet. He's a little impatient with time. And so... Um, there's something here about impatience. Your impatience is actually a direct result of your inaction. You're conflicted right now. And when you finally make a choice over the next four to five weeks about this conflict that's very internal, it probably has nothing to do with anybody but you, even if people are involved. Um, that choice is the very thing that you need to make <clears throat> in order to be invited somewhere that you're going to receive the best advice of your life up to this point. You're going to meet somebody that may teach you something that your maternal figure, Scorpio, in your life has tried to teach you many times, but she did not have the language or the courage to teach you the way you're about to learn in the next four to five weeks. And, um, Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, you need to trust this person without fear. This person's probably newer energy or returning energy that you have not had in your life for quite some time. Um, the Queen and the King are the mother, uh, the mother, the father, the husband, the wife. They're the ideal partnership. <clears throat> and there are two kings in this Mystical Moments direct. Uh, deck there's a feminine king of pentacles and a masculine king of pentacles so i really am picking up here scorpio that a masculine here is ready to go after a feminine he has all the resources at his beck and call he has everything he could ever dream of and imagine except for whatever this queen of pentacles represents so if that's a relationship in the next four to five weeks scorpio there is a masculine going towards a feminine in the next four to five weeks in some capacity so if you're a feminine watching this there's a scorpio masculine that has you on their mind okay if you are a masculine, I'm telling you, go for it. Put your defenses down. Be vulnerable. Open up to this person. Don't be scared of them. They're your partner. They're your person. Let them in. Um, trust that this is the very healing three of swords in reverse that you desire. This is a same-sex relationship, especially like two masculines. There definitely is something at odds, and it might be because this person needs to come out. Um, one, The one masculine is very firm. And uh, being who they are and the, the one that they love is really struggling with uh, stepping out into society and being out of the closet. And um, it's, you know, our partner that we come into harmony with, the person that we live our life with and we call our lover, that we choose to love and get married and spend the rest of our lives with, that person is supposed to support us in our biggest, wildest fears. They're supposed to be the cheerleader um, that we are also for ourselves. And so there's something here about somebody coming out 
and really emerging fully into the light as somebody that they are afraid to be. Um, but the funny thing is, is that the thing that they're afraid to be is the very thing that they're going to be the most successful at. It's going to um, heal their heart, heal the past, maybe even past lives. I don't see like really any karma here. This is being mature. This is being sure. This is being confident in who you are and what you desire and what you're trying to manifest here, Scorpio. Knowing that what is and isn't for you is always going to find you. You know, um, so that you can make the right decisions, so that you can make head over heart choices, so that you can learn the lessons, so that you always know what you do desire versus what you don't. Um, the law of polarity is big in your reading. <clears throat> we may go get a tattoo in the next four to five weeks. We do get a tattoo in the next four to five weeks spontaneously. The person that you go with may introduce you to this queen of pentacles. The hierophant. Yeah, a lot of you are coming into harmony with your divine partner over this next four to five weeks, or you're leveling up your relationship in this next four to five weeks. Um, I really do see where there is a higher connection here, Scorpio, in many capacities. Um, the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles don't play. When she gets, she finds her partner, not only does she already have everything that she could ever uh, dream of and imagine and be able to create on her own, but when she finally comes into harmony, she takes the wisdom to find her lover who makes the choice. There is nothing in her bone or her body, her mind or her heart that doubts that person. Okay. This is three of swords in reverse spirit. Is Pisces new moon? Oh yeah. Okay. So we have double moon, double king of pentacles the lover, the hero font, and the queen of pentacles. The five of swords is on the bottom of the deck. Um, <clears throat> so I do feel like Scorpio, some of you could be watching somebody or somebody is watching you. And uh, this next four to five weeks, you're going to have to come out and admit that you have been kind of spying on this person or they have been spying on you. There's um, an admission here. It is going to avoid a tower moment. <clears throat> Trust, yeah. I said that. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you can fly. Scorpio, it's time for you to trust. It's time for you to believe that we're in an age of Aquarius. Um, the energy that we're currently in right now with Saturn, Capricorn, Neptune, Mercury even, and the moon. This energy is here to support you. This next four to five weeks here... Scorpio is to assist you and present you with the right people, places, and things to manifest some sort of desire. You don't see this coming, but your little heart is going to heal, and it's going to be a direct reflection of your own action, your own choice, your own ability to commit to something more important and higher, some purpose that you feel very drawn to. I feel like you've even kind of been running from this energy for a while, and it's like you can no longer run from this. There is definitely a queen of pentacles that's going to come into your life. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm getting big, big, big earth energy around you, Scorpio. This Pisces new moon is here to heal your heart and give you the opportunity to go after a massive desire and dream, Scorpio, that you greatly deserve, that it is yours. It's already yours. Um... I do want to tell you that this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles are wildly different energies, um, but they are very complementary. <clears throat> um, this would be like Little Mermaid and Eric type vibes, where he is of the land and she is of the sea, but for whatever reason, um, they are both willing to make sacrifices um, because they know it is for the greater good of their purposes. And so there definitely is some type of energy here, Scorpio, that when you finally come out and admit the truth, um, and it could be just as, and I, I'm not going to, I'm going to call this simple, and this is probably inappropriate, but it could be something as simple as admitting to like a parent, hey, I think I'm, I'm, you know, it's time for me to admit to you this truth that I have to, um, especially if you're a masculine watching this, man, if you identify as a masculine watching this, I'm telling you what. Your family is going to absolutely adore you when you finally admit the truth because they've been waiting on this. They already know it. 
They've been giving you the space and time to admit this Scorpio. If it's not something like that, this could be where like the person that you're in love with has, it could be, I mean, y'all know I use a wheelchair. It could be as simple as somebody having to say to their family, like the person I'm in love with, uh, they, they depend on a, a mobility aid and, and they're, they're a little bit worried about that because let's face it, wheelchair users have been discriminated against for, for centuries. And, um, and, and their family's like, oh my gosh. And they just see unconditional love in this masculine versus judgment. And so there's definitely something here where you don't see this coming. But I, I, I really pick up here about three or four individuals. For some of you, it's even five. That when you admit some sort of truth, Scorpio, that truth is the very thing that you desire and need to heal your heart. And it will push you in the direction to commit to your higher purpose. To take on the responsibilities that at this present moment kind of scare you. And I'm here to tell you that your fears are completely and utterly unfounded. Okay. Um, there is literally no reason for me to um, in any way, shape, or form suggest to you that you have anything to fear over the next four to five weeks. If anything, um, you are going to break free of some sort of situation that makes you feel fear and worry that is just unfounded and you will just no longer think these thoughts or have these emotions and these feelings so um go ahead and take that leap of faith scorpio don't be afraid come out of your shell your fears are unfounded okay so make sure that you're checking out all of your big four i'm going to close it there scorpio i hope this really helped um and as always whether you're returning or new welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing liking sharing and commenting i will get at you next time